Archie Futurist at Futurist.com, researcher, keynote speaker, and author of Facing Our Future that comes out next month. Nicholas Babington joining us on Canada Now for his weekly visit. Nick, the World Economic Forum is preparing us for a new polycrisis era. Polycrisis, Jeff. That's yeah. uh, quite the word. I mean, uh, there, there was a word, one of the words of the year, I think, in 2022 was perma crisis it's like a constant state of alertness and difficulty and whatever <clears throat> but poly crisis has been something that came out in the world economic forums uh like the, the global risks report that comes out every year a, a happy read you know <laughs> something that we can really uh, get our teeth into <clears throat> i read it every year it's really interesting so a poly crisis if you break it down it's a complex network of entangled crises that once put together, make the task of addressing them significantly harder. So it's this idea, um, water scarcity or drought or flooding, plus food shortages or you know difficult crop cycles, plus difficulty with energy production and, and transformation and distribution and waste and... All, all kinds of different things, inflation, uh, you know, uh, challenges from bias and data, social media taking over our teenagers. It's this like layer upon layer upon layer of increasingly complex situations that makes us feel that we can't really tackle all of them or any of them in any way that's particularly useful. So these crises begin to intertwine or entwine and, and interconnect. How long... How long before crises of the economic, political, ecological natures begin converging, or have they already? They've been converging for for a long time. So I talk a lot about the industrial complex. You know, for for about three hundred years, building the, through the industrial revolutions, computer revolution, modern times, fourth industrial revolution, everything's connected. We've still got a massive. Uh, reliance on fossil fuels we're desperately trying to become renewable we're trying to change our habits it's not very easy when that ca clashes with capitalism it becomes very very tough and there's general inaction unless sort of people have got regulation to tie their hands right and there needs to be a will and a way and i, I honestly think that the kids of today are the, are the ones that are really sort of telling the truth out there and shouting and and really saying, hey, there's a problem. We're going to go out. This is what I do for a job as well. You know, I, mm. I advise companies, but I look at it in very, you know, financial systems or agricultural systems or whatever, right? So these this, this complex, it's complexity. Um <clears throat> there's inherent chaos, there's inherent complexity of human relationships geopolitical relationships systems solutions it's tiring yeah Jeff. it's it's one of those things like poly crises is just this this sort of umbrella term for an existential situation that we find ourselves in today in 2023 well and leave it to a, a younger generation to go hey this is what you're leaving behind people we we got to figure this out so because of short term challenges like uh, rising inflation, recession risks, let's face it, things that are going on in the world right now, the Ukraine yeah. war, are long-term challenges being overlooked? Like, are we just in survival mode because resources needed for long-term challenges begin to be diverted for, for these continuous and, and newly emerging crises? Well, I've just written my new keynote for the year and I've just focused it in and I've got this opening line for the keynote is that we're finding ourselves in a 300 year industrial complex that's been built on capitalism and profit for the few and we're on life support. And it, that's it. We constantly have to look after something, <clears throat> yeah. feed it you know, really deal with something that, that's actually in a pretty bad state of affairs. We're in a constant state of of collapse, as we call it, in, in future circles, uh, which is a fun term. But we're, we're constantly having to work out infrastructure and work out, you know, um, new problems with, you know, computer hacking or, or whatever, right? So, yeah, we're, we're, we're there. And, yes, we have to look at some short-term solutions. We have to. But what I say, and I talk about this in the book, but like what I say in, in in with the people I work with is you can do that, but you have to have your eye on 10, 20, 50 years. 
because we could be making some significant investment that locks us into a situation that's difficult to get out with in 20 years and is more expensive and is less equitable and is less useful for you humanity as a whole right mm. so so this is this is the thing and this is where sort of long long term thinking is it needs to really be a core function of government of business even us in our in our lives thinking about what what are we leaving behind you know how can our behaviors today help create a more resilient and responsible world so it would take one would think global cooperation to tackle all this but you've got as we mentioned the ukraine war you've got us yeah. china tensions as well is all that going to make global cooperation impossible at least say for this decade i always say that the world's been created by war and taxes jeff and it's not a particularly happy state of affairs but it's kind of you know from, from sort of tribal situations through to the first cities that popped up like 10 12 000 years ago it, it's like you know the delineation of like this is our property this is the place we live these are the people this is the economy and whatever and, and what we've got is that emergence of culture so chinese culture japanese culture korean culture <clears throat> North Korean culture, and then, you know, throughout Europe, uh, a mishmash of interrelated monarchs and strangeness trying to build some barriers across that, uh, and then into North America. And, you know, we, we, we're young. We're, we're only a few hundred years old. We're very, very young. And um, I'd like to – we're not even adolescents, you know. We're kind of <laughs> pre, pre-pubescent screaming children trying to work out, you know – um, how how to share our toys, Jeff, you know? Yeah. Well, that's where we are uh, right now. Uh, got to think short-term, got to think long-term, though, uh, in uh, the big scheme of things as well. Chief Futurist at Futurist.com, researcher, keynote speaker, author of Facing Our Future. It comes out next month. Nicholas Bamton. Nick, appreciate it as always, my friend. Thank you. I'll speak to you very soon, Jeff. Take care.